pubs of Prague and we love pubs. And Bucharest. Correct, Tina. And we're in Bucharest. Why? God knows why. Well, because we haven't been here before. We haven't been here before. And it would be uh, wrong of us if we didn't at least check out a couple of bars. And, and we have more than and, a couple. Well, more than a couple, right? Yes. And how many? Uh, nine, or nine, nine or ten. Nine or ten. Well, well, this video is for three. We thought we'd do the, the best three or the most interesting three. Make us sound like alcoholic strong. Well, you know, it is over the course of several days. We're not doing it all in several hours, Tina. No. Yes. Uh, but... Uh, but We've got three, and two of them are out of the old town. We're in the old town now, and one is in the old town, uh, where we are just actually were at at the moment, and it's called Nena... Nena Yanku. Nena Yanku. Uh, we were here the other night. It was chock-a-block. It was very, very, very busy. Very full, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And um, I've got to say, Tienan, that uh, I was... I was quite I was in a good mood. We've come back today. It's a Sunday. What is it? It's Easter Sunday. It's the af middle of the afternoon. It's a bit quieter now, so it's a bit different. Um, but but it certainly grabbed our attention when we first got here, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, let's say they're not pushing the craft beer too much, as we have seen. There are many pubs that are quite into this craft beer trend. Yeah, there's a lot of craft beer ones we found, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, got a bit sick of them, to be honest. And this is just a normal Romanian beer uh, on tap. Yeah, uh, they do have a fridge with some craft beers, but on tap, it, it, they're not pushing it, basically. Because no. the, the first one we went into, uh, I actually asked, have you got a local lager? Because you want to try the local beer, right? And, and he said, why do, you, why do you English always want to drink lager? I thought you were English, oh no. And then I said, how dare you call me English, sir? I am not English. It's like me calling you a Bulgarian. And he said, I actually am Bulgarian. Wow. Uh, and then we went to the Zeppelin bar, Tina, which looked like an old house. With cats and ha with cats, mm. and the taps weren't working, which was a bit disappointing. But uh, well, we, we we got some beer from the fridge again, yeah. and it was craft beer, An another craft beer, yeah, absolutely. So, and it was a bit expensive, quite expensive. It was the most expensive beer we had, but a very nice fella. Um, I, I, uh, was he the owner? Uh, yes, he was the owner, and it was a good outdoor area. Good outdoor area. Um, then went to to hop hooligans. Of hooligans. Which I think has a bit of a reputation too, because we found a lot of their craft beer. But not for hooligans, huh? Let, let, let's just. No, no, uh, hooligans that. is very 80s and very British. Um, but uh, a really a big place, uh, it reminded me of Beer Geek. Um, fantastic craft beers, like, a, 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 I don't know, what Beaks, was it? A very it was about 30 selection. taps. 30, 30 taps. It was actually confusing as to how many beers you could have there. Yeah. Um, but I, I think it's got, yeah, it's quite well known. Uh, and, and those two, Zeppelin and Hop Hooligans, are a bit out of town, but not too far out of town. Uh, a lot of English speakers there, Tim. I don't think I've found many European. Uh, not many there are Romanians. probably Europeans, but not many Romanians, yeah. No. Great outdoor area as well. And, and there was football on TV. Yes, it's pretty yes. rare. In if a, you're into uh, the Premier craft League, to be your place. Yes, football and craft beer don't usually go, do they? No, no. Could also get a meal there. You, it was the thing with a little hamburger place on the, the outside. Place on the outside, it wasn't actually yeah. linked to the. Well, they, they have probably some collaboration, but it's not part of the pub per se. They, they do have collaboration. Mm, absolutely. Yes, they're, they're exactly. promoting it. They're promoting exactly. it. Um, and also, uh, well, let, let's begin with uh, Ninana. And just quickly with the prices, what are you going to give it? Uh, the prices are pretty good, especially for the Romanian, uh, the Romanian fare. So we had like it was a 14, 15 lei for what John is drinking. Uh, two on the tap, two euros forty, something like that. Yeah, two sixty. I think these current prices are pretty good. So like, let, let, let's give, let's give it a yeah three and a half for price. Okay, and let's go to service. Service, yeah. Well, the lady was very kind to us. She, uh, was, obviously, there's no one, not really many people here at the moment, but we had her the other night as well. The other night, she, we were very busy, yeah. She, she was, was also very helpful in answering any questions we have, so we give a four out of five for service. And beyond to today, it's not that great. I mean, well, we did see we're enjoying on, each other's company, Tienan, but last, other the other that, night, yes. yeah, uh, was good. Uh, other than that, yeah, like the music was very good. Um, it's, it's obviously not a club, but... Um, it's just a pub. We, uh, we enjoyed it, especially the other night. There, there are a lot of people here. It was good music. Uh, score, Tin, yeah, score. Come on, move on, man. Three and a half. Three like, and a half. Like, okay, yeah. very good. So, yeah, I mean, that's the Old Town pub. Um, where we, where we are town, right yeah. now. Um, okay, so the Zeppelin bar. I was a bit disappointed the taps weren't working, but... 
Yeah, so otherwise. <clears throat> the uh, the ambiance in in okay, so ambience, far yeah. was yeah, it was like it was like your home. The cats were good company. The, the cats, the cats were. were pretty well, it was look, looked like an old house, Tim. I thought it was an old middle class, upper middle class house. Yeah, that served beer, lots of beer yeah. in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, well, so, so the the ambiance, yeah, it was it was okay. There was a few people there. It was quite good. Um, it was quite early as well, so let's say middle uh, afternoon. Yeah, yeah let's let's say two, two and a half out of five. For Price that. quite expensive. Price, yeah, price not the best as it for the craft beer. It's a little more, a little less. Sorry for the. You were looking at Kra- uh, Carlsberg, right? So yeah, they had Carlsberg on tap, which was only ten lei, which is two two euros. So it's that's very good. Very cheap for here, yeah. So if you had if you had the taps, he didn't explain why actually, um, but otherwise it was about six euros for the cans of uh, craft beer that we had, which were delicious, quite frankly. Uh, but what do you give it? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to, uh, let's say, um, look at the majority and, uh, yeah, give it w- one and a half, because uh, most of the beer were craft beer that was and I available. Think, so. And I think Bucharest is a bit cheaper than uh, than Prague, so, yeah. Very for for slight, Bucharest, yeah, it was pretty overall, yeah. Not that we're experts on Bucharest, by any means, or it's Prague. It's not quite bars of Bucharest yet. Maybe, maybe, it? maybe we should change our name, Tina. Yeah. Well, that's, Pubs that's, of Europe. That's, that's, the thing about oh, that that's, that's a thought. Anyway, uh, and service. He, he was quite good, wasn't he? Service was fine, yeah. Um, absolutely no problem. Like th- three out of five, are very competent. Okay, and that leaves Hop. Hop Hooligans. Hop uh, Hooligans, yeah. So Chocker Block. The place was Chocker Block. We, it was, we were it was lucky hard to get, get a, a seat, yeah. yeah. Lucky to get a table. It was there. very hard to get a seat. We had to ask the owner's permission. He wasn't there at the start, but we soon tracked him down thanks to the help of the staff who were very, once again, very, very pleasant towards us. Price, Tim, um, 20, 22 crowns for the, um, for the craft beer. You couldn't get a local drop. You know, there was there was no like local local fair at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go straight down the middle, like two, two and a half, let's say. Yeah, but very unique beers. Yeah. yeah. And hop hooligans seem to have the um, the market in regards to uh, the craft beer. There's a lot of hop hooligans yeah. branded craft beer. Exactly. So it was it was quite it was quite prevalent. You know, this uh, this brewery. Uh, service. He was pretty good. That guy. Service. Yeah. And again, can't really complain. Uh, he. Helped us out a lot. He was very busy. There was a lot of people there. Yeah, he so, was he was um, full on. Yeah, again, three and a half. And no, no complaints here. Yeah, and and I think that the ambience, certainly from the three that we had, just because of the timing, I think too, was probably the best. It was very yeah, very busy. Ambiance, yeah, four out of five. Um, yeah, it was, it was. They were showing again. As I say they were showing football, which is pretty unusual. Yeah, and um, yeah, it, it was it was pretty packed for the time we were there. Good was, atmosphere, was good just atmosphere. Kind of six or seven. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you give it? Yeah, you said it. I did. I, I'm sorry. I, I take listen. Tina and I take it back. I should take, I should get the the, the cotton wool out of my ears. Uh, Tina, well, that's all well and good. So those those hot bulligans and Zeppelin are out of town, but not far. It's about a 15 minute walk from here, and we're in the middle of the old town. And then you've got uh, mm. Niana Yanchu, which is uh, in the middle of town. But what do you make of Bucharest overall. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Like it's uh, it's pretty cheap. The people are very friendly. You can pay with they card everywhere. Card ev- Prague. Card. They can play with ev- car- ev- card. Everyone, everyone more or less is, is pretty good English. So that uh, helped my Romanian not being the best. Um, so yeah, the, the spruikers, like as we would say in Australia, or the or the cra- the barkers, the people that stand in front of these clubs and say, hey, hey, come on in, mate, come on in. Hey, you wanna you wanna check out our menu? Those people are quite aggressive. I mean. You got these guys. Hey, my friend, my friend. You want to see a naked lady? You want to see a naked lady? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't say no, but I'm not also going to pay for it in some sort of club, you know. I so mean, if someone says my friend, to if you, someone it says my, means they're not your friend. They're quite aggressive, and I, I would say that's probably the most uh, unpleasant part. It's a bit rustic. It's a bit run down, but it's it's well worth visiting. I think a trip out east to Europe is really good. Yeah, we, I, I've always enjoyed it in um, southern and let's say eastern Europe when I've been. So. But anyway, Tina, it's time for us to get back to Prague. So I'll, I'll see you in, uh, in JZP. Have a good one. Like and subscribe.